So as you said, the topic for today is resentment. And what I did was I knew that I was going to be talking to you. So I put out a poll on Instagram and there were four options that people could choose from and they could decide what we were going to talk about today. Yes. So <laughs> one of the options was resentment and rebuilding connection after baby. And this topic won by a landslide. I wasn't expecting yeah. that, Yeah. but I was like, well, clearly we need to talk about this. Um, but I thought at first we could just kind of go over what resentment is because I think even me, I use that word and I hear it and I think I understand it, but what exactly does that mean? What, what resentment looks like is this sense that there are something that is unexpressed, that there is a need or a feeling that we're not sharing with the other person and we're keeping it inside of us and we're not listening to it. And then we do all kinds of other things and we can talk about like why it shows up in our relationships, but then we do all kinds of other things, but ultimately we're like holding this all in. And when I think of resentment, I think of the iceberg analogy. We often think of the iceberg analogy with anger, right? Where the top of the iceberg is just the tip, but underneath the, sh- the water is the whole mass and all of the feelings of disappointment, failure, fear, sad, hurt, Mm. pain, like all of those feelings. And I often see resentment as that feeling of a layering feeling that it is the slow erosion of your relationship. And it's a toxic emotion that hides all kinds of other things that are happening underneath. So you mentioned guilt, right? So Mm. feeling guilt underneath, Um, you mentioned the mental load. So feeling the burden of like having to take on all these things and not communicating it and getting your partner on board. Um, feeling like you're not seen for what you're doing in a relationship. Um, what other ones come to mind, but it's like, you know, what is resentment? Resentment is just this really difficult emotion that is so sticky that it's often a representation of other things that are happening in your relationship. Hmm. I, when you said not feeling seen for what you're doing, I would imagine that that is a huge part of how stay at home moms would feel Hmm. if their partner is out working, but they're at home doing the homework, like not schoolwork, but you know what I mean? Yes, of course. (laughs) And the, going the emotional and household labor, right? Like, yes. And that, that often shows up, not just for stay at home caregivers, stay at home moms, but all often also for women who are working, mm. who are out of the home, but then also continue to bear the mental load and their partner doesn't know all of the things that we're holding inside of our mind. And that them not knowing is not, that they don't want to. It's not that they don't care. It's that truly in a heterosexual relationship, they don't know all of the Mm. things that you're holding in your mind. Is that, I mean, we could talk about socialization and gender roles as reasons for that, but I often go into that, them not knowing and not fully understanding what that looks Mm. like. Have you read the book? I'm just curious how not to hate your husband after kids. No, it's on my, it's on okay. my wish list, but I'm working through fair play right now with Eve Rodsky. Have you read oh, it? No, I haven't. Is it good? Yes. Put it oh, on, put it on your okay. list. It's, it just, it approaches things from a, kind of like a mediator perspective. And it really breaks down these tasks that you can do in your relationship to essentially create fair play, right. To make, to make it fair. And what I think is so important in our relationships is that it's not ever about it being equal that oftentimes we feel like, okay, this isn't equal. And, you know, if I'm doing this and they should do that, and it's never going to be 50, 50, but rather in our relationships, when we feel healthy and good, it's about feeling fair. Mm. And so if you are taking on all the household tasks, if you are taking on all the emotional labor in the relationship, if you're taking on all the childcare labor, which we know from research, women are more likely to take those on, um, then that's going to lead to not feeling fair, Mm -hmm. a lot of work for one person. Yeah. And resentment as a result can lead to resentment. Yeah. 